because in laparoscopic, uh, this is where you are, you, you are able to do minimal incisions because you know you want to save the beauty of the women and the, all that. You don't want to do big scars. So you make small incision, put in a DNA through there, and you are able to remove uh, those extra endometrial. Uh, yes, a point of order for David Speaker. Uh, is that uh, he's saying that there is a few people who can do laparoscopic uh, surgeries, gynecology. Yes, I know this for a fact. It's not because of aesthetic reasons. It's because when you do laparoscopic surgery, it's the recovery time is shorter, and chances of you ending up in ICU or having to deal with a complete open surgery where they make an incision through your entire body it causes more complications. So correct it, because whenever you talk about women issues, you trivialize it. That because our women want to look beautiful. He's trivializing something that is life-threatening. So please apologize to the women of Kenya now. Chairman. Uh, I think we are speaking the same thing with the Honorable Deputy Speaker. There is cosmetic role for surgery. When you do, just listen to me, I'm a surgeon. Yes, no, no, uh, no, no, no. You can't teach me surgery. Yes, uh, Zam Zam. Hold there is on, cosmetic chairman. reasons for any operation. Chairman, hold on. Beauty. Yes, Zam Zam. Ah, Mwishmiwa speaker. Mina ataka kumambia mwishmiwa hii damu ikitoka kwenye uzazi. Huwa inatamba inenda paka kwenye mapafu. Sio hiyo ya beauty ambao unazungumza ati ya wanawaki ya kufanya urembo. Haya ni mambo ambao ni serious. Uliza mke wako atakuambia yu ni kitu gani. Ino damu utoka ikaingia paka kwenye mbavu ndo ambao ilimuwa yule msichana. Na inaleta maradhi mengine uko. Kwa hiyo msio mbea, sisi tukitaka cosmetic hata mime naenda ni punguze huu mwili ni wesafi. Lakini hii ni ugonjo ambao tuaitaji madaktari serious ndani ya hili taifa waweze kumaliza. Sante sana mwishmiwa speaker. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, I, I wouldn't want to go there, but uh, just to, for record purposes, everything has, you're not listening to, it's not only one reason. One is cosmetic. No woman would want a big scar in her abdomen. Yeah? They wouldn't want a big scar. Two, they wouldn't want complications. I'd not say that. Nobody would want to stay in hospital for that length of time. They would want to stay in hospital for a yes, short period uh, of time. Carole so Monte. when you make a small scar... Chairman, hold on. Carole Monte. Right, Honorable Monte. Speaker, is it in order for the Honorable Chairman to say African women don't like scars on their body? While we know very many times, culturally, scars have been portrayed as marks of beauty around waists, faces, and breasts. Yes, Millie. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker is the Honorable Chair in order to purport to speak with authority over things he know nothing about. He may be a surgeon, but he does not go through what we go through. So you cannot be an authority on our bodies. For those of us who may have gone through uh, problems like that, cosmetic issues are the last of our interest. All women want at that point, yeah, this one is theoretical. At that point, all we want, Mr. Speaker, is to be well. We are not interested in, uh, in cosmetics. So don't start with cosmetic. Sorry, Speaker. 